Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tiana Michelle and welcome to my declutter and cleaning series. So if you watched my last video of the undecorate with me, I did mention that I was going to be doing a declutter and cleaning of my house. So the reason why I want to do this because obviously it's the beginning of the new year and everybody wants to clean and declutter their home. But I also am in the market to buy, to purchase a home. But before I can get there, I would like to declutter and get rid of a lot of things that I'm not using. Yeah, so like I said, I want to declutter and get rid of a lot of things that I'm not using. That way when it is time to pack up and move, we're not taking a lot of unnecessary things and we're only taking the things that we need. Plus it'll make the process easier. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So um, I'm gonna go room by room and I'm gonna show you all the places or all the spaces that I want to declutter. A lot of them not so bad, a lot of them really bad. So be mindful of that and be really uh, nice in the comments, shall I say? Um, because obviously this is a declutter and cleaning series, series, so it's gonna be a lot of mess. That's gonna be obvious. Um, and I think I'm gonna start with the easiest room first and then work my way up to the hardest room. So this is probably, this will probably take me some time. I do plan on starting this weekend and I'll probably start with the kids room because I think that's a lot easier. I think, I'm not sure. But wherever I start, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Yeah, I just wanted to come in and introduce the video. And now I'm going to take you room by room. All right, so I'm starting out in my living room where it's typically clean, but for whatever reason, it's just been a mess lately. So I really want to make this room, I wanna make the entire house as minimal as possible, but I really want to like declutter this specific area over here. Like you have hair products here, you have books, you have a little bit of everything here, but I just wanna make it like really simple really clean and not look so cluttered because typically when you walk through the front door here this is the first room that you would see besides the dining room so i just want to clean this up a little bit and i really have been thinking about getting rid of this shelf here um i've had it for i've had it for um, probably about five or six years now so i really want to get rid of it and get something else but like I said previously, um, I do plan to move this year, so I don't wanna bring really anything new into the house um, until I know where I'm moving and uh, how much space I'm gonna have. I really wanna, like these blankets, blankets and things really shouldn't be in the living room. Like this is really supposed to be like a really clean sitting area and it's not that. I'm also thinking about selling this chair and probably the sofa, but like I said, I don't know where I'm moving at yet, so. I'm gonna keep it for now, but the chair for sure, I think I'm going to sell. Then the infamous dining room. Um, not too bad, uh, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. There's really nothing to be decluttered in here. Um, it just needs to be cleaned up. This uh, shoe rack is always a hot mess. So when I do start cleaning, then I'll really get that together, but nothing really to declare here. It's just a simple dining room, dining room that needs to be cleaned up. Right, so my family room or the den, this is really a, um, a hot spot because this is where the TV is. A lot of the kids' toys are here and they spend a lot of time here. So you have this corner over here and if you've watched my videos before you've never really seen like this room before um that's because it's always a hot mess and i never really have a chance to like really clean it up um so right here in this corner was supposed to be designated to like my bike and where i work out as you can see i have like this matting on the floor but as you can tell there's a little bit of everything here and i have not used that bike in months i think when I got it, I used it for about a month or two and I haven't used it since. So it's just sitting here in the corner collecting dust. Um, Here is the TV, yep, TV stand. 
and a lot of this stuff down here I need to go through and I need to like just get rid of stuff I have this habit of holding on to things that I really don't need but I hold on to it because I just don't want to throw it away like I feel like at some point I'll need it so I really need to get out of that habit and just start like getting rid of stuff that is my goal for the I'm gonna go through this stuff and get rid of a lot of things and try to find a designated area for the kids toys because you can see like we have a puzzle here we have another puzzle here and then we have like this area where they have some toys so and I know that for I know that's gonna be really hard to keep this area like super clean because this is where the kids are most of the time um, but I'm really gonna try to do my best. So moving on to the kitchen. Um, the kitchen is not really that bad. We have a few dishes in the sink and then the countertops aren't really too bad. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and at the top, um, a few things. Um, so I definitely need to clean off the top of that and get rid of the stuff that really doesn't need to be there and get rid of that. Down here is where we really have a problem under the sink. Like, the cabinets are really an issue so here we just have a lot of product that we need to go through and get rid of or I need to go through and get rid of whatever we're not using we're gonna get rid of it and then whatever just doesn't really need to be here I'll probably just put it into my storage but this is like I really need to go through this because a lot of the time I can't find what I'm looking for because it's so cluttered so I, I'll need to get like some organizational bins to put down here so that whatever I do need to get to, I can really reach for it and not have to go through a ton of unnecessary items. So it's one project in the kitchen. And then down here where the pots and pans are, it just needs to be organized. Like whatever pots I'm not using or haven't used in since we've been here, I'm gonna get rid of them. Like there's a top over here that doesn't have like a knob. I'm just gonna throw it away. Why am I holding on to it? I have no idea. And of course, everyone has a junk drawer and I definitely need to go through this because it's a mess. Like a lot of the times I know what I'm looking for and I know I'll put it in here, but because there's so much stuff in here, you can't find it. So I'll go through this. Also here, this is supposed to be the utensil drawer, but it's also a hot mess. So we're gonna go through this and fix this. Then we also have another junk drawer, which is not too bad, but it's not, it's bad. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's also bad. So I need to go through this and clean this up. And then this is probably the only organized drawer, which is my tea drawer. And then I did organize this um, probably about two months ago, but it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So I know everything in here I use, I just need to organize it. So not much to declutter here. It just needs to be cleaned up. And then down here where we store our um, plastic containers and reusable containers it really needs to be cleaned up because you can't really find anything in here so I think a lot of the times when we put dishes away it's just thrown down here and not really stored properly so we're gonna go through these things and get rid of some things that we're not using okay so now we're gonna wake our me up make our way upstairs which is a tragedy because it's a hot mess like the stairs are super dirty even though they're supposed to come in and clean it it's like terrible the kids have marked on the stairs on the walls really i'll have to show you the rest of the walls but the stairs the wall and i've cleaned this several times but what's the point of continuing to clean it when they're just going to mark on it again so there the stairs are a mess and then we come into the boys' room. It's really all out of place because they were supposed to come in and clean the carpet. And here in this area, there was some mold on the carpet. So that's why I moved everything out of the closet so that they'll come and clean this spot. Hopefully they do that today. I'm gonna have to contact them. From this view, I did um, 
declutter the boys room probably in November or early December and I got some pieces that just made the room flow a little bit so this they already had I got this from Amazon then I got a similar one from Wayfair and then this I use for Bryce's medical supplies so I just wanted everything to be organized this also came from Wayfair and when the nurses are here they can prepare like his medications here and everything is in one spot for them to get to so once they come back and they clean the carpet then I'll be able to organize this more and I did go through the toys to like try to eliminate some before Christmas we got rid of some and then they got a lot more so I really had to like go through this again and eliminate some toys to get rid of and then here um, this is gonna be a really difficult room because if you've been following my channel for a while then you know that our oldest daughter passed away in 2020 so I think in 2021 I did at Trinity's bed in here which she doesn't use they just come in here really and make a mess but we didn't get rid of her we didn't re we didn't get rid of anything so we still kept her bed which it was originally here all I did was move it to the side so that I can add Trinity stuff, which Trinity doesn't use it anyway. Um, and then here is where her dresser and TV still remain. We haven't moved anything. And also inside of the closet, her clothes are still there. We have not touched anything. So when we do finally move, I think this will definitely be the, the most difficult room because of the situation. So I think when I do start to clean and declutter, uh, well, just simply clean, I'm gonna start in here because I think it's the easiest. I just need to straighten up a little bit and then move on to the next room. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys my bedroom and before I walk into my bedroom, uh, I'm gonna be completely transparent and I don't want you guys to be judgmental, okay? This is a judgment-free zone, all right? Okay, cool. All right, so, this is my bedroom. Kind of junky right now, <clears throat> but we're going to take care of it. So, um, I used to have a shelf right here. I moved the shelf into the closet to put clothes on because it just wasn't working out right here. So this is my desk right here. I've been working from home for two years. So this is where I had my desk, but I'm going to move it out and i think i'm going to move it into the girls room yeah because originally i had the girls space as a playroom but it wasn't working out that way because the kids kept it super junky so i'm going to move my desk into there give the bedroom more space and then hopefully it'll stay that room will stay clean so that's the plan to take my desk out um and then this hopefully when i take my desk out i can move this Anyway, we're gonna clean all this up. Like all this is gonna be decluttered and clean. Um, and then this is the hallway, which kind of junky, not too bad. But this area, I'm got. I gotta go through all of this stuff to see if I really need it. Do I want to get rid of some stuff? And then go through this stuff. And I did a video on organizing under my bathroom sink, which I've managed to keep it clean for the most part but I definitely think I'm going to redo it and get rid of some hair products that I haven't used in some time. So that's that. And then my closet is not too bad. It's pretty organized for the most part. It's, it's not bad. Like I just reorganized it. So I did a video on how I reorganized my husband's closet. So I'm only gonna show you this part because <laughs> the rest is in shambles. So. That's pretty much it. Right after this video, I am doing the boys room, the girls room, and the living room. So you'll see that after you see this, then I'll move into something else, which will probably be the kitchen. But that's gonna be it for the messy home clean and declutter introduction video. So I'll see you guys on the next one.